The safety of uh, election materials, especially the sensitive ones. Joining us now is a public affairs analyst, Agba Jalingo. Uh, good morning. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good yeah. to see you, Agba Jalingo, <laughs> for the first time in the while. year. Yes. Ah, and then the studio too looks new. And, uh, well, but this <laughs> is, really this is a makeshift this studio. Is just a temporary, <laughs> yeah. it's a temporary studio. I see the work that is going wait on. Wait until there, we wait take you into <laughs> our next studio. Yeah. Yeah. I can't oh wait. My I see God. the lighting there looking beautiful. I can't <laughs> wait. Your breath is about to be taken away. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. We'll joining also, us mm -hmm. on phone from Abia State is the public relations officer of INEC, Abia State, Bamidele Oyetunji. Bamidele, good morning. It's good to have you join us. I say good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. Uh, can I chip in something before yes. we start the program? All right, go, go ahead, ahead, please. Already, go ahead. the incident happened at the uh, Isi Alangwa South Local Government of Abia State. Mm. And uh, that time I discussed with you, I told you we are yet to assess the damages. Mm. The total number of the PVC, that is permanent voters card in four, is 319, not 15,000, please. Okay, 309. 19. At 19. Uh, 319. Three, 19. Okay. Correct that impression. Uh, okay. You are there already. Yeah, that's, why, that's what you're doing yes. already, yes. Because we, we got, we got uh, conflicting mm. uh, reports, figures, uh, figures uh, here and I'm, there. That, so that, that, is why, that is why no. we had to have you on so you can uh, uh, bring proper nothing. clarification. It's just only 3 or 19 PVC. Yeah, but for those who own the PVCs, uh, that have been destroyed, uh, the 319. Uh, yes, what assurances yes. are you giving them that they will not be disenfranchised no, no, from no, no, election? No, no. Presently, there is no problem about it. Our headquarters tell us to compile it, that they will do something as against that one. And we have some order that we are going to test. We are going to test it with our card reader so that we see whether they will respond if the, uh, those who get the card collected it. So no any cause for alarm. Hmm. All oh. those 319 will be properly taken care of, and possibly maybe they will get a new card before the election starts. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll, no, we'll come no to you, Bamidele. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to you, Bamidele. Let, let me bring in Agba yeah. Jalingo in here now. Now, when it comes to safety of INEC or election materials, mm -hmm. this is a threat to, uh, to, to the whole process already because one way or the other, because from the reports we got, hoodlums went deliberately to mm -hmm. INEC to, uh, you know, pour fuel into through the window somehow from the report we got, even though uh, Bamidele, we're going to get uh, Bamidele's, Bamidele's side, of, side of the whatever, but the report we got was it was a deliberate attempt by hoodlums or whoever to burn INEC materials. What do you say? You see, this sort of thing will not stop as long as um, the things that we used to do elections continue to be hardware, things that we can touch and feel. Um, loan, our politicians are very desperate. They don't want to lose elections. And uh, if they can have any opportunity at any point in time to go for materials that they use for elections like this, I don't know of any one of them that will not in their desperation, particularly these politicians in the mainstream. They will continue to do all of this until the, the country is ready to consciously transit from these hardware that we use for election and begin to use technology can, that can make the things we use for election not touchable anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, if we're able to take the time to do that, it's a process that we need to transit into. If we can do that effectively, then we, we deny those who want to do this kind of, perpetrate this kind of act, the opportunity mm -hmm. of getting access to those uh, sort of things. And we see that the progressive world is already moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria should also begin to think about that. Mm -hmm. The police is trying their best, the ANEC yeah. is trying their best, but it's obvious that there's nothing the police is going to be able to do. They can't be everywhere at every point in time. And it's only when these kind of things happen that they start going after people that so, committed um, the crimes. But yeah, they, let, me, bit, let me go back to uh, uh, Bami Dele Oyetunji, who is there in Abia State. Obviously, uh, those who want to scuttle or circumvent the electoral process are already thinking ahead. They are, they are now thinking, let's, you know, uh, create the problem even before the election. So, so what exactly does INEC have in place? You've had all kinds of meetings and interface with the police, with security, other security agencies, with the national security advisor and, uh, and all of those. Um, what, what are the uh, concrete plans that you have in place to ensure that this doesn't happen again? Okay, thank you, sir. We have uh, ISIS, Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security. And they are up and doing, in Abia, Abia State here, yeah, they are up and doing. It is because of the desperate, as my 
my, my Agambo is saying in the studio is because of the desperate of these our customers. We are just appealing to them. So let's let, 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 let conduct a free, fair, and credible in the election now they are saying. Cause for alarm. The agency is up to the task. They are ready to provide security before, during, and after elections. Mm. And constantly, we have been meeting. There is a meeting in the state. There is a meeting in the local government. All right. Bamidele, besides uh, the PVCs that were burnt, the 319 PVCs that were burnt, we also understand the uh, uh, voter register, register was also uh, burnt in the, in the incident. Can you confirm that? No, 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 no. If I thought the voter register are involved in that burning, no cause for alarm for that one. They can, our ICC is up to the task. They can reprint that one. They can reprint that one. Yeah, but, but, but can you confirm that, that the voter register was burnt? Uh, no, 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 no. The voter register is not burnt. It's not, not, not non-sensitive material, like envelope and supposed as it. All right. Mm -hmm. So all other our material are intact. Okay. Are intact. Alarm, please. Okay. Ha ha from what you have heard, has there been any arrests so far, or is it clear uh, what is behind all of this? Because this is not the first time this is happening. We remember on the second of August, twenty fifteen, uh, INEC INEC office was also burnt in Abia. Part of uh, INEC office was also burnt in one of the local governments in Abia State. This is not the first yes. time. Yes, of course. Mm. Yes. So as we call it, it is this, uh, it's the alarm to our south that the, uh, the, the office was on down. It is specifically this, it's the alarm to our south, local government. That mm -hmm. one is after the uh, 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 gubernatorial and of assembly election. That's how they go, those, those actionists go and bond the place. So that's it. And we are trying to, that's the reason we have to relocate the office from that place. Because mm -hmm. that place is not accommodating us. We have been using only one room apartment since 2015. Okay. That incident happened. Mm. So the commissioner took a decision that we are moving. We, we, ha we have to go to a rented apartment. A rented apartment which we will provide as promiscuity and security. Because the police station is very close to that place. And secondly, it's a longer uh, Navy one half a day at a winter. So we show sure of the security of that place. Mm. We are just appealing to them. We are just appealing. They to allow the peace to reign. We are appealing. I next in Abia State, under the present uh, reg, Dr. J.C. Lo is ready to conduct free, fair, and credible elections. Mm. We are persuading them, please. Okay, well, whether the uh, plea will, you know, those sentimental pleas will appeal to uh, the people who are bent on having their way is another matter. Agba, you've, you've heard him. Um, he's raised uh, some issues there, of course, a tight situation and all of that. They had to uh, relocate. You know, <laughs> handling an election does cost some, doesn't it? It does cost a lot of money, especially when you have to uh, prevent situations like this uh, from happening. Obviously, the arsonists actually must have done uh, some kind of reconnaissance, you know, going there to, to uh, check the place out mm -hmm. and to see the loopholes and see how vulnerable that particular uh, property is. And obviously, it must have been really vulnerable for these people to have access, to gain access to uh, the INEC office in Abia. Now, it's not just about the INEC office in Abia. All other parts of the country where sensitive materials, you know, will be stored or are being stored already. I mean, the election is right around the corner. Mm. How confident are you that um, INEC really is on top of its game? And, of course, the security uh, agencies like the police, the military, and uh, DSS, uh, and, and what have you? Well, I, with due respect to... The, my colleague on the phone, uh, he sounds to me like he's saying, giving us some professional uh, innuendos. Mm. There's no cause for alarm, there's no cause for alarm, there's no cause for alarm, and you're not telling us what you are doing to be confident that there wouldn't be any cause for alarm. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there is a cause for alarm as far as we continue to use this process. If you go to most states outside Lagos, INEC offices are far flung in some lonely, isolated places. <laughs> you hardly see, apart from the headquarters, which you usually find within the state capitals. The ones that are in the local governments usually are far flung in some places, unless there is some activity around election, that is even when the offices are busy. But immediately after elections, if you go to those places, they are desolate. You don't get to see anybody there. And um, 
Like I said, the police have not even finished policing those of us who are human beings. Talk like mm -hmm. of some voter card line in some buildings. They can't be on top of this situation. That is the truth of the matter. Like you talked about the Interagency Committee on Election Security. Yes. Um, the chairman of INEC was there. He also was appealing to the police, talking about mm -hmm. streamlining security. There was a, in fact, before we even started the serious uh, countdown in the media, the IG that is retired now also held a meeting here in Lagos mm -hmm. that was sponsored by the EU Election Foundation, where he also promised that they were going to to deploy uh, policemen to ensure security for election materials. Yeah. We, but I don't know how much of this they can do around the country. Mm -hmm. But I will go back to that same thing I said earlier on that in. We will have our haphazard elections. We will wumble and fumble to the, uh, February 16th and 18th, and eventually a president will be announced. And people will go to court and complain about these same things. But there are politicians in this country who are not even happy about the fact that we moved from ballot papers and we are now using electronic, electronic um, uh, cards that can actually verify voter identity. They are not happy because the only way they know how to win elections is to carry those boxes and run away. And there is no system that is foolproof, but we must continue to stay ahead of their game. Mm. If they, have, if they have now de devised new means of burning up uh, PVCs, for God so love the world, I am still wondering <laughs> up till now why we cannot vote with our ATM cards. Mm. Even after the BVN exercise, even if we need to start test running it, every state must not move at the same pace. The country is, the, from figures available are saying that there is 84% internet penetration in this country. Mm. Yes. And they're also telling us that they have captured over 100 million people in the, it, uh, through the, the BVN um, uh, data that the CBN collected. I mm -hmm. think that in some states where this penetration is very, very deep, Nigeria can begin to test run voting from our BVN. The system is secured, particularly bearing in mind the fact that they collected um, people's fingerprint. Yeah, and we, can also, data. Mm -hmm. we can also try this. There are other systems. Like, for instance, I know, I know that the state of Virginia in America has tested voting with, uh, with uh, uh, cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. They try mm -hmm. to vote with Bitcoin. You also need to do some fingerprint verification. Yes. It's also another secure system. They also tried it in the municipality of Zog in Switzerland. And it, they all judge this very, very effective. Mm -hmm. Nigeria should not be left behind. 32 states in America are floating the idea of voting online. And technology can be implemented anywhere in the world today. Mm -hmm. Technology that is feasible in America, that is workable in America, can work in Nigeria as it is today. And I think that we need to begin to test run all of this as all we right. prepare for the next well, election. Well, Nigeria is always a very peculiar... Mm -hmm. Nigeria is always a very peculiar... Uh, environment where it, what is done to the left has to be done to the right. Otherwise, some people are going to feel very disenfranchised. But we'll mm. come to this. Now, let me bring uh, uh, Bamidele back in here. Now, in, in the eyes of the law, burning PVCs, even though the names of persons are on it, they are properties of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, one way through INEC. How grievous is this offense for those who have carried out this act a, a deliberate act of burning uh, PVCs. Okay, Bambi Dele, are you there? They are with you. INEC does not have power to arrest or to apprehend or investigate. Already, the Commissioner of Police, Abia, said they are on court with that one. They are the ones to do the, what, the, what, the, what the law stipulates for such an offense. It's not an INEC uh, something. So if INEC materials are destroyed, there is no specification in the Electoral Act as to what punishment anyone it can be meted to anyone who destroys INEC property. Uh, the police, the police, they are the appropriate authority to do what is needful. Mm. Okay. okay. It is exactly well, what we are saying. If mm. people who have registered already are finding it difficult to pick up their voters' cards, mm -hmm. is it the ones that have been burned? 10 days to elections that will be replaced. I don't want anybody to fool me. I've been in this long enough to know that these people have been disenfranchised. They are not going to be able to vote. Because even the INEC man is telling us no cause for alarm, no cause for alarm, no cause for alarm. Maybe the register was born. Maybe he was not, it wasn't born. He's not, he's not, he's, not, he's, not, he's just sitting on the fence. He doesn't want to tell us what happened. Mm -hmm. but, but, I know, he said, he, but he said, he said, he said yeah, definitely the register is not that. Oh, now, even if it is burnt, mm -hmm. they will reprint another one. You can't print for those who have done it already. Okay, but even Agba, if it is another Agba one, Jalingo, we'll have to leave it there. We are, still, we are still in that same conundrum. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. We hope we get out of that conundrum uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, Agba Jalingo is a public affairs analyst joining us on TVC Breakfast. Thank you very morning. much for coming.